Hello, welcome to the APW Fizzy Blood in Session. We're with Kieran. Got me, me classic Doctor Tone uh, <laughs> tuner, oh, right. um, which is just yeah, your tuner. Yeah. <laughs> and then up here, I've got a Sans amp, which is basically it's just use it for my rock, yeah, my rocky tone. Yeah. And then I literally just use this for the extra fuzz and lifts and the riffs and the choruses and whatnot. Tasty. I've had this bad, bad boy for a few years now, and yeah. it's. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You can't go wrong with the P-Bass, really. No, you can't. You? No. That's the main thing about it, really. And you're running into... Is it an Ashdown yeah, combo you've got? Yeah, it's an Ashdown combo. Yeah. It's just your standard. I normally use my Sans amp to like, run everything, so mm -hmm. it's just a speaker for, for this, really. They're good and clean, aren't they? Dash down. It's a good platform. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> it's Tim from Fizzy Blood. <laughs> and we've got a white strat. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's like a... It's a custom shop one. Really? Uh, so it's like it's Ooh, got number yeah. sixty-two on it, which I don't know what that obviously means. It was the sixty-second one made. Wow. <laughs> um, but it's got yeah. It's, I, I love like the Jake always. It's like a running joke that I always tell everybody about these pickups. But um, like overwhelmed, so you get some really kind of um, nice warm sounds out of the pickups. Sweet. But I absolutely love this guitar. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be like a like a classic one with like modern features. Right. Uh, so you got like the cutaway and those pickups of noise cancelling when you're in between. Yeah. So it's the nitro finish version. That's it. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it breaks up and goes all chips. Yeah. I don't know that much about this, but um, I just thought it looked really cool. <laughs> Basically, fifties car paint. Yeah, yeah, and, and wasn't it like poisonous or something? Yeah, yeah, so yeah really, yeah. really poisonous. Yeah, yeah, but it looks great. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean in in the kind of I haven't died yet. No, no, no. and you won't. There's not enough on there to actually kill you. Right. But if you put your arm in a pot every day for a while, you'll probably. Well, if I ate a bit. If you ate a bit, it, yeah, don't eat a bit. All I right. don't think we can, in all the conscience on the APW, advocate eating nitrocellulose lacquer. But yeah, yeah, no, you can probably lick it. some. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I'm probably. <laughs> I've licked it in yes. the past, you see, so yeah. But it's, it's um, quite juicy looking, so yeah. <laughs> when do we go next? Uh, this is like a theremin thing. Oh, right. Uh, so it's basically a, a Z-Vex fuzz pedal, but yeah, theremin about. So like, the nearer you get to that, it adjusts the stability knob. What? Yeah, that is it's insane. absolutely mad. Um, okay, go on, give us a quick bow. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. So you can like self-oscillate it. <laughs> Which I have no idea why you'd use that. Well, I can. Uh, but I think it's cool that somebody yeah. just thought, like, let's put that on the pedal. Easter Overdrive, which is kind of pretty standard overdrive. And then I got a mini tube. Ooh, yeah. Uh, they sound good kind of together. Yeah. Uh, that's nice. Um, just obviously a bit higher gain than this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I use that a lot in riffs. So that's like rhythm, that's kind of riffs. So chorus kind of self-explanatory uh this is cool that's like a little tremolo pedal nice um nice no, it's quite subtle there's not there's not many controls on it but um, i just have it set to quite a wide slow tremolo yeah uh, quite dramatic this is awesome that's on all the time pretty much uh, i have it on the like modulation setting because uh, there isn't a spring there isn't a spring in my amp so right um so i always have that on a string as well yeah. uh and then yeah self-explanatory I, I normally have that on the modulation setting as well because um i think it's cool right and then tuna and that's it I, I use that as like a kill yeah basically yeah. so in, in the box in yeah. there which we'll get some shots of after there's an uh, hand wired at that's it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I go into top boost and then yeah you have it switched on to hot but the, the foot switch actually switches it between cool and hot or whatever it is tasty yeah that's it nice you do uh, keyboard stuff as well we, we right. bought a, a Korg um, Micro Korg XL which is really good but it's quite, quite delicate uh, so it's broken at the minute so this is like my temporary setup I'll have a grand piano as well on here. <laughs> 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 and then have a crew of people to carry it around yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. a cool. guy for each pedal I think. <laughs> cheers thank you I am Benji yeah it's a Californian made Stratocaster deluxe yeah uh, I've put Irish tour pickups the bare knuckle uh, brand Oh, so are they uh, hum cancelling in the middle like normal? Uh, no, they're pretty loud. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty hot. Wow. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I just wanted 
See, I, I used to have um, I used to have like a really hot DiMaggio pickup in the bridge. Yeah. And I wanted to say I wanted I kind of got bit over it, if you know what I mean. I grew out of it, and I wanted it to sound like a Strat again, but a bit more. Yeah. So I went for like some like bare knuckle like hybrid between like they, it, it, they are like single coil strap pickups but they're just a bit more jalapeno in them yeah 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 that's my i mean what, what's to be said about the tu2 a lot of my boards dictated by budget yeah uh so obviously i'd have a sicker reverb and a sicker chorus if i could afford one but these do the job pretty well yeah uh this is basically we went into the studio uh to record our second ep and I used an OCD for literally the entirety of the time I was in the studio. Right. Came out of the studio, fell in love with it, and I bought one literally the week after, and it's pretty much my sound. Yeah. I wanted a really nice distortion. Yeah. And, yeah, used that a few times in the studio and fell in love with it. And that's the one. Yeah. That's Sweet. It. Yeah, and they don't get away with the sound too much. The Tube Screamer has a bit of colour to it, but the OCD mm. lets the amplifier and the mm. guitar do their things. Mm. Well, it's a, it's a good, it's a good um, distortion as well as an overdrive. I used to have a Pedal Train 2 board, but it just a bit too much, so I sold it. Yeah. Uh, and I just thought, you know what? I'll just cushion out a hard case with some cotton wool, the inside of a pillow, and let's just yeah, keep it all together. That's the job. Paul in the Fizzy Blood session and the Telecaster this time. Yeah, my dad bought me this for a present when I was doing past my GCSEs. Oh, wow. So it's been with me a long time. Um, and yeah, I kind of like, I've never really tried to fix it up because I like the fact that yeah, it's like every chip is like a story. You yeah. Know I mean? So I quite like the fact that it's starting to show its signs of its age. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Telecasters should yeah. have, a, have a story to tell. A few parts have been replaced place just because um from the original just because they've I've broken the guitar a lot of times i used to, i went through a really um a phase of like drop kicking my guitar and things like that it's it, 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 yeah <laughs> yeah now i just pour beer on it so yeah. it's kind of it can handle that a bit better but like um the yeah it's it's been through the wars and it's, it's sturdy like yeah. the fact that i can still even play it is testament to the solid build of mexican uh, fenders i've not replaced the pickups like ben has um because i like how they sound and i've got with the baja it's like a you have your oh, it's a baja. s1 yeah oh, yeah nice so you can put the pickups out of series and you can literally there's so many sounds yeah that you can use i use the s1 a lot for really um when you really need to cut through so you're kind of you uh, on this setting here at the end, you press this in, it, it phases the pickups together in a way that really, really drives the mid range. And like, it's like a high pass and a low pass, yeah. but with a, like a, a, a like a, a frequency peak as well. So it really like cuts through. So they're wired together in yeah, series, series, which is where the two two coils in the humbucker are wired together, and and Brian May's pickups and all that sort of thing. Yeah, you can get really good seventies sounds out of this yeah. guitar, and it, it helps with this amp as well. And they were trying to show me all these new flashy fans. Uh, like series one amps that they have. It's all a really bad um, version of one of these. So I was like, let me try that out. And um, I really like it. I, I mainly just use the clean on the amp. I drive the tubes a bit yeah. um, because I've, I've got so many pedals. But yeah. um, it just it's it's got such a nice inbuilt compression mm. and it's a really good warm sort of sabbathy tone that I can get out of it with my feathers and stuff. So nice. like yeah, it's a really sort of seventies kind of sound that you can get. Although I would really like a maybe. A, hollow body for mm. some of the kind of fuzzes but again budget is is an issue yeah but you can't go wrong with a telecaster no i, I love this a, thing i'll never get up amp. yeah i'll never i'll never get rid of this thing yeah. this guitar really is. they last longer than their owners yeah <laughs> i can believe that <laughs> yeah. for sure into my noise clamp because my pickets tend to run quite hot as well yeah. and i use a lot of fuzz so that's just it's just an analog thing uh, sometimes i think maybe i should have gone digital because it's the fading can be quite frustrating at times when you've got a weird you know hum or something in certain venues but it does the job this is like one of my favorite pedals the yeah electric. they're cool yeah 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 they're so good uh i wish i had like an expression pedal to play around with but I've, i think that's more of a studio thing than a live thing really but uh, i normally just use the octave up and octave down settings i do play around with the harmonies on a couple of bits on songs but generally it's just to get a massive like sort of big yeah. huge tone out of it um on one of our new songs i started using the detune setting which almost is like a chorus <laughs> um because it puts you like sort of a few cents out and then you can blend it so then it's like a really 
really gnarly chorus as well. That's interesting, like a double track kind of effect. As yeah, well. it makes it sound like you're playing with two guitars at the same time. Yeah. So I use that on one of our new songs called nice. Illusion. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. And then this is my uh, Tube Screamer. Again, for most people watching probably already know everything that's been said about these. I just use it for a bit of a boost, yeah. you know, like a mid-boost sort of thing. I almost never have, have it past here, really. Um, and I just kind of use it to affect the tone of my guitar more than anything. Um, Analog chorus, it's it's just it's a chorus. Sounds really nice. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, looks like boxes. Yeah, they are. It's it's really versatile because of you you can sort of tailor the EQ a bit and the speed the the, the range of speeds and depths that you can have. Like you can get lots of different types of choruses out. I got one of these quite recently for cheap because it was going cheap, and I know that a couple of bands that I really like use them, yeah. and it's it's great. Yeah, I was looking for something that was sort of a halfway house between my Big Muff and my Tube Screamer. Yeah, um, that'd be a rat, I think. Yeah, and yeah, it sort of fits the bill. It's yeah. really good. Um, it's good for them Sabbathy tones I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, and then I go to this Germanian Big Muff, which, again, it's like it's really sort of it's not it's not really a boutique kind of tone or anything, but it's just more what you do with it really. So, I like that it's I, I like, the main thing across all my pedals is I like that there are a lot of features and they're quite versatile. Yeah. So I can play endlessly and get between all of them I can get really weird combinations of sounds and things. Um, and then I go into this. It's one of my latest additions to the board and one of my favourite pedals I've ever had, the El Capistan, yeah. which is like a tape, it says tape echo, but it's more like a tape machine because you can do looping and stuff. Yeah. Um, and there's also a lot of cool like hidden features. Um, if you hold down this button, it just it turns the feedback. It's like someone turning the feedback up on the tape loop. So swell forever. Yeah. And there's also uh, pressing both of these down, turning it all the way. So I'll, let me get rid of this um, delay time and so you can really hear what it does. So it's like dry, right? A bit, of, bit of chorus from the wow. But and you turn this up and you've got also spring reverb. Wow. So it's like a reverb and a delay. Uh, it's so handy. Which brings us to the drum room. Now, I had a lovely chat with Jake about his drum kit, but unfortunately the audio is completely unusable, so you're going to have to put up with this little voiceover. Jake's drum kit belonged to his granddad. When he was younger, he didn't like the sound of it that much, but over time he realised that the drums on some of his favourite records were played on kits just like this. The cymbals are from the 70s, and the hi-hat is huge. Can you see that in the corner? You'll also notice right next to it the SPD. Now, Fizzy Blood do like to have as much happening live as possible when they're on stage, but there are a few sounds which work better as samples, and there's also a sample of an old guitar pedal which was integral to a song, but the pedal broke and no replacement could be found, so the best solution was to sample the recording and have it played out of the SPD. So that's about it. Follow us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, mash that subscribe button, and thank you, as always, for watching.